Since the turn of the century, the United States has undergone tremendous change and growth. It's been transformed from a rural nation with widely scattered unpaved farm to market roads to a highly urbanized country bound together by 3.9 million miles of roads, streets, and highways. Dramatic changes have occurred during the past 50 years as the number of licensed drivers has nearly tripled to over 160 million. The number of registered motor vehicles has increased by a factor of six to nearly 180 million. And travel has increased tenfold to more than two trillion vehicle miles each year. The primary method of addressing these increasing demands has been to construct new highways. Since the late 1950s, over 43,000 miles of interstate highway have been built throughout the United States. In addition, thousands more miles of primary, urban, and secondary roads have been built or improved to increase capacity and safety. Since first being introduced in the 1960s, traffic management techniques, such as computerized traffic signal control, ramp metering, and incident management, when properly employed, have contributed to the increased efficiency of the highway network. More recently, Methods to reduce vehicle usage, such as carpools, van pools, high occupancy vehicle lanes, improved transit service, and flex time have also helped meet increasing travel demands. However, as the automobile continues to be the dominant form of personal transportation and demands on the road system continue to increase, conventional practices will not be enough to keep pace. Driver delay can be expected to increase 300 to 400 percent on already congested freeways by the year 2005. Expanding existing facilities will become increasingly more expensive and difficult as urbanized areas become more and more developed and land values increase. These factors combine to threaten future mobility in the United States and restrict commercial productivity and international competitiveness. As demands continue to be placed on our nation's roads and highways, we must look for additional ways to increase the system's efficiency and safety. Fortunately, we're entering an era of new solutions. The electronics revolution has produced integrated circuits, microelectronic chips, and other products featuring miniaturization technology. These technologies are already being used to analyze and monitor complex traffic conditions and to coordinate traffic signal systems. A key part of the solution to the problems facing the nation's transportation system is the use of these new technologies to make existing highways and cars safer and more efficient, to create smart cars and smart highways, or intelligent vehicle highway systems. There are four major elements of intelligent vehicle highway systems. Advanced traffic management systems, advanced driver information systems, commercial vehicle operations, and advanced vehicle control systems. Advanced traffic management systems include the traffic control centers that gather information about current traffic conditions through traffic detectors, emergency vehicle communications, cellular phones, police, and other sources. This information is in turn used to alert incident management personnel, coordinate traffic signals, and in the future will be able to alert and direct individual drivers. These traffic management centers are to the highway system what an air traffic control center is to an airport. Advanced driver information systems will receive information from the traffic control centers and provide this information to the driver using in-vehicle displays. Presentation techniques now being evaluated include electronic maps, electronic messages on vehicle instrument panels, and voice messages. These systems will provide the driver with current information on traffic congestion, accidents, hazardous road conditions, weather conditions, and travel information, including alternate routes. In addition, the vehicle will be able to transmit information, such as its current position and heading, back to the control center, providing the center with another source of information. 
commercial vehicle operations will allow heavy trucks, emergency vehicles, and other types of commercial vehicles to become more efficient and safer in the future. Methods of achieving this goal include the use of automatic vehicle identification, way in motion, and fleet management systems involving advanced communications and automatic vehicle location systems. These methods will reduce delay to commercial operators, track the location of hazardous materials, and issue permits or charge tolls without requiring the vehicle to stop. Advanced vehicle control systems cover a wide range of technologies that will create a much safer and more efficient highway system. Technologies being developed include radar devices that will alert drivers when they are following other vehicles too closely and could possibly apply brakes automatically to avoid collisions. Other technologies could eventually provide automatic vehicle control, whereby vehicles would be able to move at closer spacing or headway at higher speeds and with much more predictable travel times. These four components, when combined, are expected to dramatically increase the capacity of the road system and, at the same time, increase driver safety. The United States has already begun efforts to develop smart car, smart highway technology. One significant effort is California's Smart Corridor Project along a 12-mile segment of the Santa Monica Freeway in Los Angeles. This $32 million project will demonstrate advanced traffic management technologies to obtain real-time information on traffic conditions. This information will in turn be used to monitor traffic, update drivers on current conditions, and increase traffic capacity. Advanced driver information systems are being developed through a series of field operational tests. The Pathfinder Project, a two-and-a-half-year, $1.65 million cooperative effort with the California Department of Transportation, General Motors, and the Federal Highway Administration, has started its evaluation in the Los Angeles area as part of the Smart Corridor Project. The goal of this initial experiment is to provide the driver with real-time traffic conditions using an in-vehicle map display. The driver will, in turn, be able to make informed decisions concerning route selections. A second effort, known as TravTech, is planned in Orlando, Florida. Additional field tests are under active development as part of a national cooperative effort to bring this technology into operational use. The Crescent program, involving 14 states and one Canadian province, is testing automatic vehicle identification and other technologies for commercial vehicle operations, including trucks and buses, with the goal of improving productivity and safety. Projects such as California's Program on Advanced Technology for the Highway, or PATH, are developing advanced vehicle control systems, including lateral guidance systems. Look out, be careful. Automatic obstacle detection and vehicle braking. Look out. And longitudinal control systems. Vehicle electric power transfer systems are also being examined in the PATH effort. Other countries have also begun efforts to develop smart car, smart highway technology. In Europe, 14 automobile companies in 19 countries have combined forces in a seven-year, nearly $1 billion effort known as Prometheus. Over 700 vehicles in Berlin have already been equipped with driver information systems. Another 1,000 will be tested in London in the early 1990s. In Japan, an equally ambitious project known as Amtix has begun. This project, involving the Japanese government and 59 leading Japanese corporations, successfully tested the use of driver information displays in 1988 and is continuing work on other components of the smart car, smart highway system. As demonstrated in Europe and Japan, a public-private partnership involving government agencies, universities, and private industry is essential to successfully implement a national program for intelligent vehicle highway systems. In the United States, major participants must include state, local, and federal governments, 
the automotive, communications and electronics industries, the university and research community, and professional trade associations. The foundation for such a partnership has already been laid through the formation of Mobility 2000, an ad hoc group of government, university, and industry representatives created to promote the use of advanced highway technology to improve safety and reduce congestion. Mobility 2000 is identifying and studying the many issues facing the development, demonstration, and phased implementation of intelligent vehicle highway systems, including technological feasibility, institutional barriers, development time schedules, and funding sources. In addition to the work being done by Mobility 2000, various studies are being performed to assess the potential of these advanced technologies. In addition, the pursuit of intelligent vehicle highway systems technology is an important part of the President's national transportation policy. Smart car, smart highway technologies have the potential to provide solutions to many of the transportation problems facing our nation in the coming decades. The expected benefits of such a system are great, as are the challenges ahead. National cooperative programs and firm commitments from government and industry leaders are essential to solidify the work already begun and to realize the potential of these new technologies.